Wow, look at this. Ivy, right, you don't have to do that. <sighs> Sam, you know, I... I'm sorry, I just need to keep busy until I get some word about Fancy. <sighs> Fox! Hey. What are you doing here so early? Um... I, uh, I couldn't sleep when I got back to the mansion last night, and I figured I'd be of more use here. It looks like I was right. Any word on Jessica at all? No. I'd give anything to know she made it through the tsunami. Noah, too. Yeah. And your sister. Well, like I told you, Mom, I mean, Fancy's a survivor. She'll be all right. She'll make it. Where's Kay? She's over at Tabitha's with Maria. Right. Of course you Thinking about where you'd rather be? Look, I can't stand it, Ivy. I should be down at the police station helping with post-disaster operations. Or at least trying to find my daughter. I feel so helpless. Maybe Alistair will come to his senses and rehire you. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll tell you something, I wouldn't count on that. Of course, you could be lucky. Maybe he died. <laughs> I wouldn't hold my breath for that. Why does it seem that all the meanest people, the ones that live the longest? Look, I can't wait for Alistair to die. I need my job back now. I'm gonna go get some more towels. You're thinking about her, aren't you? Just how close did you two get last night? Fox, I'm waiting for an answer. Fox, hmm? I'm waiting for an answer. How close did you and Kay become during the tsunami? Uh, we're friends, all right? We're, we're, uh, we're just friends. That's all? Yeah. What do, you want me, what do you want me to say? The truth. The truth? What? The truth seems to be that you don't like her very much. No, no, it's not that. Not exactly. It's just, uh, I've always thought Kay had a bit of a selfish streak. Really? Huh. Well, don't we all? I suppose. Look, I think she's got a good head on her shoulders, okay? She takes really good care of her baby. Yeah, she does. Sam thinks she's matured a great deal. Yeah, she's going to school, she's working, she's taking care of Maria. That's a lot. Oh, speaking of Maria, do you know, does Miguel still send money home for support? Uh, I don't know. I'm just mentioning it because, you know, any, anybody who got involved with Kay would have a Yeah, I mean, response. if you're trying to sway me away from Kay because of child support or something, it's really you know, no, no point. No, it's not that. It's that Kay was very involved with Miguel before he left, and I'm not sure she's ever gotten over him. Really? He's gone, though. He went to go find charity. <laughs> that doesn't mean Kay wouldn't take him back in a heartbeat if he came home. I mean, he was her first love. Sort of like Whitney and Chan. Uh, Please, she broke your heart because she couldn't get over her feelings for Chad. I think you're oversimplifying, first of all. And, and there's no way those two are going to get back together anyway. Well, maybe not. But Whitney's heart wasn't available to you, and yours got broken. I don't want to see that happen to you with Kay. You may think you know Kay, but from what I've heard, she's changed. I do know Kay. Well, maybe you used to know her, but I'm telling you, she's not the selfish person you make her out to be. She cares about her daughter, she cares about her dad, her brother, her sister. And Miguel, her baby's father. You know what they say about getting involved with somebody on the rebound, Fox, and you are very vulnerable right now, so a word to the wise about Kay? Watch your back. Stay away from Kay. Don't get involved with her. You can relax, all right? Neither one of us is ready for something that heavy anyway. Okay, well, that's a relief. Okay. I'm gonna go help Sam. Thank you. 